all have switches in our house. However, nature has replicated this mechanism in its own unique way, in the form of the ribo switch. Much like an ordinary light switch, ribo switches turn things on and off. However, ribo switches turn genes on and off rather than lights. Ribo switches are genetic control mechanisms that exist primarily in prokaryotic organisms, though there are a few examples in eukaryotic organisms, for example in certain plants and fungi. Ribo switches occupy a niche typically occupied by regulatory proteins, and likely evolved so that prokaryotic organisms didn't have to use proteins to regulate all of their genes. Regulatory proteins can be costly and require a larger genome, which many prokaryotes such as bacteria lack. With riboswitches, regulatory mechanisms are coded directly onto the mRNA strand rather than being encoded into proteins. Riboswitches are present in the 5' untranslated region of certain mRNAs and contain important sequences called aptamers. Aptamers contain a short sequence of nucleotides that when transcribed into RNA will form hydrogen bonds within the mRNA strand, giving it a secondary structure. This complex secondary structure will in turn help it to form a more complex three-dimensional structure. The activity of a riboswitch depends on if a ligand is bound to the aptamer sequence or not. This is where the ligand can effectively turn translation of a gene on or off, simply by changing the structure of the aptamer. This change in structure can have multiple effects, possibly occluding the ribosome binding site, or causing the mRNA to fold in such a way that it can cleave itself. In both of these cases, the mRNA will not be translated into protein and will be degraded. One good example of a riboswitch was found in the bacterium Bacillus subtilis, which uses guanine as a ligand. This riboswitch encodes an aptamer that controls the production of enzymes involved in purine synthesis when bound by guanine. This signals that the bacterial cell has enough guanine and does not need to make more. Aptamers have also been given practical uses in the human world, particularly in medicine. Aptamers can be designed by researchers to bind to nearly any type of biomolecule and have similar properties to protein antibodies, but are smaller and have higher binding specificity. This increased precision makes aptamers particularly useful in the field of medicine, both as a drug and as a diagnostic tool. Some aptamers have been designed to inhibit the function of CTLA-4, a protein involved in the downregulation of immune response. Inhibiting the function of this protein can help in cancer treatment by boosting the activity of T-cells, which kill cancerous cells within the body. By introducing this aptamer into the body, it is possible to improve a patient's immune response to cancer. Another example of how aptamers can be applied to medicine is in the detection of the influenza virus. Because aptamers can be designed with extremely high specificity to different molecules, aptamers can be used to differentiate between the different strains of influenza, leading to a more accurate diagnosis for patients. In addition, aptamers can also be fluorescently tagged, making diagnosis much easier. From controlling gene expression in bacteria to helping humans detect and fight diseases, riboswitches have a range of uses in both the natural and human worlds.